Hey folks, Don Garbutt here from New Frontiers Audio. I'd like to give you a quick look at Razer X, an expanded version of Razer, the awesome additive synth by Native Instruments, which runs on Reactor. I find Razer to be a pretty amazing instrument. The user-friendly additive synthesis engine here is like nothing else. So I decided to add a few modulator controls to it. First I added a gate pulser section. The gate pulser sends repeated gate events to the envelope generators while you're holding down a key. Here's an example. You can hear that the gate duration is controlled by this control here. And the timing selection is controlled here. This works nicely in conjunction with the sample and hold circuit. Sample and hold is a process by which, using a clock low frequency oscillator, regular measurements are made of external signals. Sampling low frequency oscillators can produce regular repeating patterns, and mixing in a little bit of noise generator can add randomness to the process. You'll be able to hear more about sample and hold on the video entitled Razor X Sample and Hold. Here's an example of sampling LFO1. Here's an example of mixing in a little bit of noise with LFO1. I'm going to speed up the sample and hold rate to match that of the gate pulser. And now I'm going to mix in a little bit of the LFO2. So as you can see, a variety of different values is being produced by this process. It's a fun way to come up with interesting rhythmic patterns. I've also added two step sequencers. These step sequencers can control various targets in Razor X. They can control movement on the sample and hold selector grid, and they can actually control movement on the animator pad, which is the other object that I've added. I'm sure you're all familiar with step sequencers. Now over here, the animator pad is a pad which is assignable to any of the targets in Razor. Those assignments are made on these panels, where you can see various families of targets displayed on the screen. Oscillators, filter 1 targets, filter 2 targets, the pitch control, and all modulatable effects parameters. And here you can see controls to send messages from the pad to control the amount of sample and hold, and to also move the grid position on the sample and hold. Both the X and the Y targets can be assigned to any of the modulatable parameters in Razor. Here's an example of recording a path on the animator pad. And now we'll play that back. Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to have another video where you'll be able to see more details about the animator pad as well. See you soon.